In this problem, what we're going to be working with is, once again, we're going to be working with the ideal gas law, but we're going to be determining the molar mass of a gas. And so we're going to try to speculate what gas it is, be able to identify the gas based on the molar mass that we calculate. So the problem reads as such. An evacuated 63.8 milliliter glass bulb is filled with a gas at 22 degrees Celsius, 747 millimeters of mercury, mercury of pressure, and the, and the bulb gains 0 0.103 grams in mass. Is the mass nitrogen, neon, or argon? Before we start, we need to do some conversions here. So we have to convert this into, use a different color, we have to convert it into liters and this will become 0 0.0638 liters. We add 273.15, and that's going to get us into Kelvins. And so that is 295.15 Kelvin. Now to convert this into atmospheres, one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeters of mercury, so the millimeters of mercury cancel, and this gives us 0 0.983 atmospheres, and we're just going to leave this in terms of grams. That's perfectly fine. Now, what we want to do is we want to find the number of moles of the substance, and so N is going to be the number of moles because we're given a pressure, we're given a temperature, and we're given a volume so we can find the number of moles. So this is going to be PV all upon RT. Our pressure is 0 0.983 atmospheres. <clears throat> Our volume of the container is 0 0.6, oops, forgot a zero. 0 0.0638 liters. Our R is 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere mole Kelvin. And our temperature is 295.15 Kelvin. Now the Kelvins are going to cancel. The atmospheres are going to cancel, the liters are going to cancel, and we're going to end up with units of 1 over 1 over a mole, which is equal to the unit of a mole. When we do this arithmetic, the number of moles that we calculate is 2.59 uh, times 10 to the negative third of a mole. Now, if we want to calculate the molar weight, remember molar weight or molar mass is equal to, that's going to be units of grams per mole. That's the units of grams per mole. So if we take the grams of our sample, so this is going to be equal to 0 0.103 grams, and we divide it by our moles, which is 2.59 times 10 to the minus third of a mole we get units of grams per mole. And when we do that arithmetic, what we end up getting is we get 39.76 grams per mole. Now the options are going to be, uh, they're going to be nitrogen, neon, or argon. Well, if you look on the periodic table, you can determine that, or you can look up or it can be found that this happens to be the molar mass of argon. And so our sample of gas is going to be argon. If you have any questions on ideal gas law, stoichiometry, molar mass, feel free and please let me know so I can help you.